Hey everyone, welcome to another God News Breakdown here on Soto Pop. Soto! Alright, as always, I'm your host Frozen Stratos, and today, well, you've already seen the title of this video, you've already seen the thumbnail. This is Chronicle Gaim 3. We finally got the full, I guess, lineup for Chronicle Gaim 3, and it's gonna be retail. Uh, so let's dive right into what we got. Um, and as you can see, we have Kiwami, and it looks incredible. Uh, some of the things to note about this figure is that most of the silver that you see here is painted on. I mean, you know, the backs of the hands, that's definitely a sticker. But outside of that, I don't really see too much silver stickering here. This is all paint, and that is phenomenal. This is incredible. Um, basically, this is the most painted uh, Soto Chronicle figure that they have ever done to date. Uh, and this, once again, is coming out at retail price. Uh, another thing that I wanted to point out that, uh, the blog didn't, uh, is that there are holes, like, in the, the crest, in his center crest. Um, you know, and you would think that maybe they would fill those in with a bit of negative space, but they made sure to leave holes in there, and that's really cool. These are prototype images, so we don't know if that's gonna stay throughout the course of this process, but... I really hope it does. Um, also, another thing uh, that this comes with, it, oh, no, not me. Uh, it comes with an extra hand for um, for Kachidoki to hold the lock seed. So that's really cool. Um, I, I'm glad, just another neat inclusion. They painted the whole thing and then just gave us an extra hand. Uh, on top of that, it does come with the uh, Dai Dai DJ Jun. Uh, and it looks cool. It's in gun mode and it is in uh, sword mode, so you have your options there. Also, um, the back, the uh, cape, um, is on a swivel. It can move side to side and maybe in and out. Uh, the Google Translate was a little bit screwy on that one, but it does seem like it can flutter a little bit, I, I believe. Uh, either way, this looks really neat. I also very much like the, uh, the way they chose to handle the lock seed holders on the sides, uh, because, you know, the skirts are on a hinge to hinge out, and then on top of those skirt pieces, they just plopped on different parts for the lock seed holders. They're not molded in, they are, you know, it looks like a separate piece, and that's really neat. Anyway, uh, he is not the only one in this set. There are eight pieces in this set, and it takes two pieces to create one figure. So, so far, that was two of the eight that we have so far. We have six to go. The next two combine together to make Yomitsu Hegeri uh, Ryugen. And it, I, I cannot believe it. This is shaping up to be a really, really awesome final form set. And you know what? They have this mold. I get it. That makes a lot of sense. But you know what? Um, it turns out they sort of didn't have this mold because the chest had to be redone. Uh, in, in typical Soto fashion, uh, something needed to be slightly adjusted to make it that much better. Basically, the head, which is, ba which is kind of just Kiwi's head, um, but is also just Yomitsu Hegri's head, uh, that was actually too big to fit the body, uh, as, uh, as intended, or, like, as it was before with the grape armor. Um, so they had to remold some of it to give it a little extra clearance. And that's awesome! I, I really appreciate the, uh, you know, that they wanted to give us the added articulation for this. They could have just left this on the cutting room floor, but they didn't. Uh, they gave us a new mold. Once again, Soto, absolutely grateful here. Uh, another one, another thing that I did want to take note of is that if you notice, right below the kneecap, there is a little bit of black paint there on the lower leg. I do hope that that remains, you know, in the plans. Like that's not something that they uh, they end up not putting in that extra little black paint. Either way, very excited for this guy. Uh, he also has both versions, or like both weapons uh he has oh, was it roshuo red it, it's the evil dude he has the evil dude's axe 
I guess, both axes, and that's really cool. Uh, the question I have about this is how it's going to fit into the hands. Um, this is not one of those open hand, like, uh, slightly opened hands, uh, to slide in the weapon. This is a, a peg-in weapon hand, uh, on either side. So I do wonder how these are going to be implemented, because there are, like, ribbed areas on the sides of the, um, you know, just where you hold the item. Either way, uh, I'm very excited to see how this turns out. I hope it's not, like, split in half and then plug into either end of the hand. I really hope somehow they're able to, like, slide it all the way through. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited for this in general, so we'll see what happens. Let's move on to the next item. We have four more pieces left. Uh, these next two pieces are... Baron! We have Lord Baron! Which, most people... Uh, myself included, don't technically consider this his final form, but Soto was like, you know what? We're doing it. At retail! This is a retail figure! Can you believe it? I- this is blowing my mind. Uh, for, you know, the- the third wave of a Chronicle series, Gaim has enough star power to get the monster form of its secondary rider. I would say that's relatively obscure, but some people do consider this his final form. This is a, obviously, completely new mold. Like, they did not need to go out of their way to do this, and yet they did. That is what Soto does, and I am so, so happy for it. Um, another thing about this is that, you know, this is retail. There are a few little drawbacks. Apparently, there are some line details on the suit that were supposed to be on this, but did not make it into the final version of this figure. Um, just because, you know, Soto can't replicate all the tiny, tiny little details, especially at retail. Um, so I'm, I'm just grateful that this is here in any capacity. I'm also grateful that they included the sword, and it looks so, so good. Um, and it's not the only thing that's included, because he gets another version of the sword. A broken version of the sword is included to pair with your Kiwami, Gaim, and Baron, uh, as well as a broken banana spear. That is so cool. I'm, oh man, love this stuff so much. Um, anyway, that is all that's coming in, you know, the Lord Baron set, but we have two more pieces to get through. What are the other two? Well, the first one. Well, uh, oh, yeah, this is a misleading image. Um, it's an accessory set. That's not the right image. Uh, <laughs> so it's an accessory set. This is uh, part A. This is accessory set part A. And for Kiwami, he's going to be able to wield every single weapon here. Um, some things to note about this is that this is not a complete image of everything that we are getting. Uh, the Kiwi circular sword looking things there are actually going to be two included uh the kunai for ichigo arms that is not the only representation it's going to get i do believe it will have individual kunai as well so keep that in mind uh the pineapple this may be the first time we have string in soto i'm not 100 percent sure on that but like i don't think i've seen this in shoto soto before um also, 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 uh, the gun, Ryugen's gun right there, that is molded in uh, Yomitsu Hegari's colors. I do wonder if the gun included with Yomitsu Hegari uh, is the one just in this accessory set, or if uh, the accessory set is going to uh, just have an extra one for Gaim to wield. Either way, very excited, and this teases potentially something that we'll get before uh get later um hopefully we can get all of these things because i personally really want uh the the mango form for uh for baron anyway um like i said this was the first this is the set a of the accessory sets there is a second one to round out the rest of this it is filled to the brim with sort of new stuff. Well, actually, I believe everything here is new in some way, shape, or form. Uh, so, like you saw earlier, the durian swords, 
there are going to be two of them. Uh, the knuckles, the, the punching gloves, there are going to be two of those, but it's not yet known how they're going, how, if at all, they're going to mount to any of the hands. Hopefully they'll have ball joints to, you know, work with uh, each of the figures. Um, we have the hammer, then we have the two different types of the spears. Uh, one of them is for the typical Kurakage, uh, and then the other one with the two blades is for Kurakage Shin. Um, up at the top there, those do seem like weapons that we have had before, but Soto wanted to do something different with these. Each of these are going to include, mold, include molded details uh, for loaded lock seeds. So that's how they're getting these out there, by putting it in a Kiwami set. That is brilliant. That is awesome. I'm so, so here for it. Um, and you know what? Out of all of them, Kiwami seemed like the one uh, that would hit Premium Bandai. And screw it, everything in here seemed like something that would be the thing to hit Premium Bandai, and yet we have this at retail. That is absolutely incredible. I'm glad everyone came out to support and buy uh, the first two sets to make this possible. That is so, so cool. I'm very happy. But unfortunately, that comes with the news that this is the very last retail set. Everything from here on in is going to be premium. Um, and that, you know, that just sort of sucks. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy for what we got, especially since Lord Baron. Come on. How could you be mad at that? Anyway, um... That is not all for the blog. Like I said, we do have some common Rider Saber information, and that comes in the form of a shimmy. Uh, so hey, if you don't know who any of these guys are, any of these multiple uh, army buildable figures are, this, well, it's called a shimmy. Um, these are the uh, basic mooks from uh, Kamen Rider Saber, and uh, they barely showed up in the show. They did also mention that, hey, uh, we decided to make this before we realized that they barely showed up in the show. So, this is just gonna have to happen. Either way, very excited about this, and if you'll notice, this is like a lonesome sticker. That's because, uh, this is made up of two boxes, and it is the only sticker between the two boxes. That's it. This is a fully painted figure. This is everything you're getting. These are the only stickers that you need to apply. The second box just doesn't have any stickers. That's incredible. Uh, so let's dive into the the painted nature of this thing, or at least the details that go into it. Uh, first up here is that there was supposed to be printed detail on the head, but it was far too small for them to do. What they did instead was they molded that in uh, to give them that logo without having to, you know, complicatedly tried to print that in and I think that's ingenious um, and it's such a small detail that you know you're only really ever gonna pick it up uh, if you're specifically looking for it also uh, the white on the legs that's not actually white it's uh, a, an off white because apparently uh, when they were testing out these colors or you know just by virtue of them making these all the time um, they noted that uh, the white typically used, uh, if it is 100% true white, then it's going to look cheap. So they toned it down a little bit and gave us, well, this, and it looks pretty good. Also, you'll notice that um, the rags on this figure, they don't quite go down as far as they should, uh, and that's because they wanted to maximize uh, the leg articulation. Uh, you can even recreate the Heaven's Tornado with Kamen Rider Double. I don't know why they put this in here. I don't know that it's a teaser for anything. That is the thought that just crossed my mind just now. After having discussed this a while, I did not realize, hey, maybe this might be a tease or something. I don't think it is. I, I don't think it is. Maybe. It, I, I don't know. Get at me in the comments. Let me know if there's a if, if you think this is a tease or not. I don't I don't think it is, but it would be neat if like something double is coming on the way. Either way, maybe they just thought, oh, you know what? To to demonstrate uh, being able to to move his legs around a lot, 
let's just recreate the Heaven's Tornado. We have double anyway. I don't know what this is about, but I, I, I hope it means something. Anyway, um, that, oh yeah, that's, I guess that's it, uh, for the news. My, my thing cycled back. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite bit of this was, uh, if you are excited for the Soto Gaim stuff, and what you think is going to be the next premium set. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Oh, there are also links in the description down below to how you can help support the Black Lives Matter movement by donating money, signing petitions, and watching videos. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it. Hell yeah. Oh, Zenkaidra merch. Buy that.